Back out, that valve is shut. So then she goes back down, along, along, and then up into the engine. Just do it when you're ready. I'm going to do it on my phone. Oh, it's going to, <laughs> it's going to take quite a bit to start it. Yeah, it's okay. Uh, yeah, right. I'll, uh, so what I've got to do now is I'm going to have to, you'd normally blow her over on compressed air, uh, but it means opening and shutting 16 indicator cocks. Yeah. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start the blue boil priming pump now, and I'm going to boil the engine over a couple of, not a couple of revolutions, but we're going to stir it maybe a few degrees just to make sure that you're all right. So I'm going to nip up here, I'm going to start the blue boil pump. Black smoke, yeah. Does it make much black smoke then when it first starts up? Uh, yeah, if you're outside. <laughs> <laughs> See all the arms moving now. Thanks for doing this, Mark. That's my big choice in the car.
What a change from this morning. <laughs> oh, cool glide. does sound nice out here. Look at that. That's crazy. It's crazy, isn't it? This? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> my cool blimey, it's cool, isn't it? <laughs> this is where you feel the heat. Well, yeah, I mean, from the corner it. into where it hits your most. Yeah, you feel that. That's crazy. What's the heat like? Just nothing at all you could do. Yeah. It's not doing any work, is it? No. Under load, that would sound nice because it's when the turbos would start oh. to kick in. Yeah. I bet you would hear the turbos if you play that much. With it being so. So large. So huge, yeah. I bet they don't spin up as fast as a small one. It would be nice to know what. Um, RPM, the G kick up at. Yeah. <coughs> 38,000. Still quite high there. Yeah. yeah. What a change the weather. It's crazy. It's not going to go before, but we've already. I've never had anything like it, Mark. That was amazing. It's incredible. Honestly, mate, that my spine, honestly. <laughs> that was unbelievable. That was absolutely unbelievable. I can't believe how well balanced it is. I know, this yeah, just. I expect the ground to be shaking. Yeah, that's what I was saying to her. I can't believe it. Well, if you, she weighs about 37 tons. And have you seen what she's sat on? Well, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, no, as in even worse than that. Have a stick your head down. She sat on a load of studs. Oh, oh wow. She's actually suspended off the floor. Yeah. yeah. Even from the sound I of thought the thought these, these, these were dumpling cups. They are. Mm. Yeah, oh, right. But via those, um, so they just sat on those uh, 
For her all those day. little well, yeah. bits. That's it. Yeah. That's it. She's she's not actually physically. She's isolated from the floor by the rubber. Yeah. Anti vibration mountings. Yeah. Yeah. Nice speaker stands. They look studs. Yes. Yeah. Identical to that. Yeah. Unbelievable. Wow. Well, thank you very much for that, Mark. That was. Well, the fuel, you know, I had to pull the fuel up. Yeah. Well, I took the fuel above the the band. Yeah. So she's dropped it. Cool, blimey. A bit more. <laughs> so, so, whilst we were just doing that, under full load, she burns six hundred gallons every four hours. Yeah. Cool. Blimey. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's the dirty old fuel gauge and, and the ropes on the fuel gauge, how many hours they got left. Oh. So to just chuck it into... Uh, oh, there it is. That's one of them. Yeah. Well, that's not this, but this is uh, yeah. one of the range of engines. So yeah, all good fun. I'd be in every day, yeah, would you, starting this up? I couldn't afford to do that. I can imagine. <laughs> We'll all chip in some more. Yeah. <laughs> How about this kind of engine run on anything? Well, I bet, I bet it was designed to, wasn't it? To run on pretty much anything you could find at the time. Heavy fuel oil she'd run on. Yeah. So it was, um, yeah, no issues with that. Um, <clears throat> if it was on the ship, she would burn heavy fuel oil. Yeah, of course, mm. yeah. And heavy fuel oil is, mm. well, it's, it's the dross. Um, what goes on the, on the road is, is better quality. But well, this is on what we call gas oil, which is red diesel. Red diesel. Mm. Um, yeah. Destined for the scrap. But as a scrap man as yourself, you wouldn't want you wouldn't thank anybody for this engine. So we were given this engine as long as we took this engine out, and actually they have they probably have the better deal. Yeah, they probably when, yeah. when you look at the effort to cut this engine up. Oh yes compared to its price per tonne, mm -hmm. it'll probably eat into the profit. Yeah. You'll probably cut it up and you'll have nothing to show for it. That's it. The best thing you could do is just find a big enough furnace and drop it in. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, literally. So a little switch gear up there. Yeah. Some nice panels up there. Um, this is unbelievable. Nice it spot. is. When are you going to get your oil lines hooked up, or are you not? We, uh, we're that? in the process of ordering, so they're all imperial. Ah, because so I just know. Three point eight millimeters, whatever. Oh, so we've hate. got to count for how many oils we need. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> so that's actually a retrofit. So the actual, it's a total loss lubrication system. So see the little oil pump at the end. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So yeah. that was added after the engine was purchased. Yeah. Um, so they were, they would have originally have been manually lubricated. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, all, all manual. Yeah. yeah. Wow. They were... Um, so it was a constant, you couldn't just leave it to run on its own and you had no, to be you with had, it. You had a, an engine attendant. Really. Yeah, yeah. Which, if you was on a ship, then you'd have an engine room watch. Of and it just gives them something to do. That would be their dream job. For so you was basically doing then what they were doing originally. Yeah, basically. Yeah. Um, we've got the odd pipe, so it doesn't work. Yeah. Uh, but we, we you know, I've got to get it back working. Yeah, yeah totally lost. So basically, all the oil, all this, all this shit, everything drops down here. Even the spill lines off the injectors don't go back to the fuel tank. No, they just dribble down here. I yeah. noticed that. Yeah, into yeah. channel, and then both channels down. go into that pot. Yeah. And you probably chuck that back in the fuel tank because you're probably burning. Yeah, so. that's it. Yeah, <laughs> no waste on one of these. Every oil, bit of oil you put in this will run it. Yeah. Um, so that's the free end of the, the engine, so that's called the free end. Yeah, yeah, the free end, you got free end. end, that's the fly wheel end. Wow. And there is a British standard that when you're looking down the a V engine from the free end, the left hand side is bank A, and this is bank yeah, B. Bank so that would be, for example, V4. It just means that there's no fuel ordering parts from around the world, and there's 100 engineers. Yeah. V4 is always that unit. Yeah. And no confusion. What's the firing order? Don't know. Oh. Oh, really? I can't tell. You've never pulled that much rubbish. Um, because I know some, they have different firing orders to others. There is like a standard, but they sometimes they run strange <coughs> firing orders, and it's all to do with vibrations yes. um, and countering. Depends on what it's running. I wonder if this actually would have been available to have different firing orders depending on what application it was run for. And also if you've got two engines with a ship and within a ship. Yeah, of course, mm. yeah. Because um, you run wrong backwards, don't you? 
you can do with them. Can do, yeah. So yeah this, I've this, seen the, that. this is a fixed speed engine. So in during the blackout, so this engine would be sat there waiting. Waiting. Yeah. So there is a hot water heater for the jacket water. There is a heater for the sun. And basically the control philosophy is there is a blackout and there is a timer. And what the timer basically is saying is, are you really a blackout? Do I can I be asked to start to the start diesel engine? Yeah. So I'm gonna give I'm gonna give the local network two two minutes to sort their shit out. Yeah, and if not, so uh, you know, yeah. sort out your reclosures, whatever. After two minutes, back you know, the this is not coming back on. Yeah, that's it. And so the control philosophy trips all the high voltage circuit breakers, which is these. Yeah, yeah. That's part of the colours. <clears throat> Trips those and it starts the 24 volt DC lube oil pump, which is the one on the floor. Mm -hmm. That we call that the jacking pump, so that gets all the oil everywhere. Yeah, everywhere. Yeah. There is a pressure switch, so when the pressure switch reaches the magic figure of 30, figure of 13 psi, I don't know what's 13 psi, but 13 psi, that sends a signal back to the control gear to go right. Oil pressure's fine, yeah. and then she will put a start signal on it. There is a centrifugal switch off the back camshaft, so if she starts, the centrifugal switch then operates, yeah, yeah. that then stops the lube oil jacking pump and yeah. then puts all of the um, monitoring and shutdowns on it. She then comes up to speed and then automatically she then starts to bring the H3 breakers back in. Yeah, yeah. If she doesn't start, she'll actually attempt to do three starts, right. and after three starts she then locks out and sounds an alarm, yeah. all of that logic is via pneumatic relays. So timers, you name it, all, all the timers are a, yeah. a, a relay where you control the time by allowing air to go into a space. And so all of that logic is via relays. There's, there's no electronics, nothing on this engine. Not like today. <laughs> she, if you've got, um, what's your knowledge like on three-phase circuits? Not too bad. It's not bad, yeah. Uh, yeah, some, some, some. No, the basics. I will right. do my best to explain I, something. I'll rewind our unit at work. Okay. <laughs> well, it doesn't blow me up. It doesn't blow me up, yeah. Well, in this, all the phases. Right, I'm telling you, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. So that 